everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Anna, I'm a content writer and an aspiring author and this is the channel where I talk about all of that. This is the final week of Preptober. Today is currently uh, October 27th. I always have a hard time like switching it in my brain to the from the number date to the day and month date for some reason, like it drives me nuts, but it's, it, I'm dealing with it, okay? I started this vlog on Monday and today is currently Friday, so it has been a very fruitful week. I do actually do a lot of really fun stuff in this vlog. I mean, it's all kind of from the comfort of this chair, but it does include getting a new uh, buddy for the house, so make sure to keep watching. First off, I figured out the absolute perfect place for my little Tensoon character. It makes me so happy. However, I am now in need of the tripod, so he's gotta move. Look at him though, he's so cute. I have things that I have to get done. So first I'm gonna turn on the computer, clear my space just a smidge, and let's talk. So the first things that I have to do, ah, are I have three articles to write this week. It is Monday and Sometimes I can get two articles done on Monday in one go. I do think that I'll only really be able to get one done, however, so I'm just gonna kind of suck that up and go with it. I have been doing a lot of my writing at night, a lot of my like creative writing at night instead of during the day. So that should actually work to my benefit right now. So over the next three-ish days, I will try to get a an article done every day during nap time and that should have me completely done by the end. I also have to complete draft one of the murder mystery book and that should actually not be terribly complicated. It'll more be me filling in the blanks. I do have five or six chapters left to go till the end so there's that but again that shouldn't prove to be too difficult. also have to outline project vampire um, and finish getting that all set up so that I can start handwriting in November. Now, I also have uh, two more books to finish because I had a goal of four books for the month of November and that is the one goal that I really don't want to let fall by the wayside. Um, I have stopped necessarily tracking the books that I'm reading. I just know that I'm constantly and consistently reading and that's really the main goal is that I always want to have something that I'm working on now, with these goals, with these October goals, I don't necessarily feel the need to have them completely finished by the end of the month. It would be ideal. It'd be fantastic. I do have a writing battle thing that I'll be doing at the very beginning of November. It starts October 31st, and so for those first five days, I will be working not exclusively on the writing battle it's you get a prompt in those first five days you write 2,000 words for this prompt and then over the rest of the month you're um, giving feedback and basically voting on the winners of the writing battle itself. I don't expect that I will get a lot done in the first week or so of NaNoWriMo. I'm not terribly worried if this bleeds over into the next two weeks instead of this last week of NaNoWriMo. I have also been working on a bit of a system for balancing these two projects. Um, the murder mystery being, being the main one that I want drafted is being worked almost exclusively on the weekdays. So as soon as I'm done writing my articles, that's what I switched over to exclusively. And it feels really good to be able to do that. So I'll work on that at night and during the day when my articles are done. And then I will work on drafting or, and then I'll work on outlining Project Vampire and plotting through the series. Right now I'm actually writing up a synopsis for the book and that is going really well. I've never done a synopsis before, um, but I'm really hoping that it will actually help me with my scenes and not necessarily getting stuck with the scenes that I'm working on. Those are really the big projects that I would like to get done and on the weekends, on the weekends I have been working exclusively on Project Vampire and writing up the synopsis for that. Hopefully after this weekend I'll be able to write up scene cards. And as I'm going with the scene cards I hope to basically write as I'm going with those, kind of do the ends first so that I know what I'm shooting for and write up the end scenes and then backtrack, go back to the beginning. I already have a couple scenes written up. I started writing this book many, many months ago. I just had a feeling 
wrote a scene and that was basically the beginning of the book and I it will probably change more than likely but it was one of those you know moments of inspiration that I wasn't gonna let go I don't really care if this bleeds into the next month but I do hope to have it all pretty much completed by the um, end of the month if not the end of this week I will probably end up working on project vampire over the weekend and might end up actually finishing up this murder mystery drafting next Monday and Tuesday. Today is Monday the 23rd. It has been a busy chaotic one already and I'm, I, I've lost about two hours of what I would normally have been able to work on so that's why I think I'll only be able to get one article done. See if I can finish before it's time to take my husband to his D&D &D game and pick up the kids after that and maybe tonight while he's there I will try to get into another one, but we'll see how far I can get on this one for now. Okay, I just dropped the kids off at school. Now we're going to go hopefully catch a sunrise on my favorite little oh, look. Would you look at that? Ah, oh, it's almost time. Ah, oh, I should have brought my tripod. I absolutely love Fairbanks winters and not because it gets cold. Um, I could definitely do without the negative 50 most years, um, which it only gets down to negative 50 for like two to three weeks ish. Those are cold snaps and they happen all the time every year. This last year was pretty pleasant and we didn't have as, like nearly as long of a cold snap as we normally do. A really big benefit of living here in the winter time the sun sets earlier and earlier and rises later and later in the day. Um, and we end up with really dark winters and bright summers and it's delightful. But my favorite thing about it is that I get to watch the sunrise all the time in the winter. Sunrises in cold, icy and snowy cities or even just, you know, places around the world, I'm sure it's even better in the wilderness, are the best. The colors are so vibrant. The snow is such a huge, gorgeous contrast. And that far off in the distance over there, I'm sure you can see it right at the middle, we've got this gorgeous mountain range. I, it's Wednesday. Yesterday was Tuesday. I started this vlog on Monday. Yesterday I didn't get anything done. I ended up doing an article late last night. I skipped writing sprints in a fun creative way and instead worked on an article because that had to get done because yesterday was just so horrible. The baby was up all night. He was not having a good time. I think he's teething and being sick on top of it is just not good for him. And on top of that, when I was actually able to sleep, I slept wrong. So it was not a great day yesterday. Even caffeine fueled, I mostly just kind of sat on the couch doing nothing because I hurt and I was so tired. So I read a lot. I watched um, a couple of shows and held a baby most of the day and that's pretty much it until the end of the day when I did actually get the article done today I have I'm hoping to get two articles done so that tonight I can work on more creative endeavors I haven't actually written on anything in either of the stories as long as I get the summary done for project vampire I can basically create scene cards as I go throughout next month and I think that'll hold me over that'll do a good enough job of keeping me on track for where the story's going the murder mystery series I'll be okay if I don't actually get that one completed by the end of the month that one I will just complete as I go I know I'm gonna finish it in the next couple of weeks and I'm not gonna stress the when of it I'm just gonna let it happen um that being said as soon as these two articles are done today I will be focusing solely on uh the murder mystery for the rest of the week into the weekend potentially because I do still want to have it done but I also recognize that it might not happen and I'm okay with that. We'll see how it officially goes but that's the tentative idea right now. The sun is about to rise so I'm gonna uh, stop this and we can watch that together 
and then we'll get back to it. I love where I live. I really, 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 really do. So I'm gonna drive home. I'm gonna do the thing. I hope you guys enjoyed the sunshine. This is going to be my third and final attempt at, sh at filming this clip. I don't like either of the ones that I've done. And I know that I could probably just like throw it up there, but I don't like it. So I'm going to redo it and hopefully this will be the number one that I use. Today is October 26th. It's Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. I do have one more article to do this week. Um, but because tomorrow's Friday, I still have tomorrow to be able to do it and get it turned in. So I'm going to do that. And uh, today I'm going to focus on the, um, instead of working on the article or even the murder mystery, I'm going to buckle down and try to get a good amount done in the Project Vampire story. I had this idea pop in my head for it that has helped solidify a couple of the different plot points that need to be in here. So I'm going to, I've already written a couple of them down. I stopped what I was doing, wrote down what they needed to be, and now I'm gonna fill in the gaps up until that point and see if that, see how much that gets me and where I need to be. Because I did that, it should be relatively easy to actually get into what I need to do and hopefully it won't take me too long. I know that the summary might be up to like 4,000 words, but I don't officially know. This entire document is almost 4,000 words and it's got a lot more in it. It's actually got the beats in it. I'm writing the summary in it. I've gone through Story Genius and I've actually got Lisa Crone's stuff in there, the, the who, what, when, where, why, backstory, all of that. Um, and I've been ruminating on this for a very long time, so it's all come relatively easily. Um, I'm often asked about my writing process and like what it looks like from ideation to actually drafting or editing. And um, the truth is, is that the ideas ruminate for a very, very, very long time. Like this idea I had initially almost two years ago and I remember sitting in my truck talking to you guys about this and I had a sudden inspiration sort of thing for, I, I've always, I love vampires and I've always wanted to write a vampire story, but I felt like I didn't have anything new to add or anything like that. And I felt like there were so many out there that mine would just kind of get lost in the shuffle. And while I, I don't necessarily need masses to read my books, I definitely write mainly for myself and to create a story that I'm proud of. Um, I still, you know, I still want people to read it. You know, why, why keep these to myself if I can share them and make somebody else happier or give somebody else a good time? I remember sitting in the truck and thinking it didn't matter. It didn't matter if I had any... Um, it didn't matter if anybody else was going to read it. It didn't matter if I had a new take on vampires. It didn't matter that there were so many vampire stories out there. The point is that I wanted to write a vampire story. And it's just kind of fun that it's actually happening. Um, so that being said, I have been thinking about this story for two years now. And the really funny thing is that it has a bit of a different lore behind vampires. So in the end, 
I am kind of creating a new vampire story, but I don't necessarily know that it's, you know, anything fantastic. It's just something that I'm enjoying and I love the ideas that are coming from it. So hopefully others enjoy it too. But for now, it's definitely just making me really happy. I did also, I am by no means a graphic designer. I am not a book cover designer. I am like learning because I do plan on designing my own covers for the murder mystery series and any other uh, stories that I publish in the next several years because why not? So I am learning and in all of this learning I am practicing and I did create a different cover for this book specifically um, just to kind of get a visualization and that's this one right here it is I think relatively okay but then uh, that's then the other night I had an idea for another one um, and that's this one and it cracks me up because it makes me think of like you know not another teen beach movie kind of theme in you know not another cheesy vampire story and like the little effects of the cheese drip instead of a blood drip and the and the little vampire swiss cheese it just cracks me up uh i am officially gonna get going and i'm going to do my story this is incredibly premature but i have i've never done a summary or a synopsis like i've done query letter type synopsises back of the book back of the book blurbs to basically you know showcase what the story is about but I've never done a full summary that goes plot by plot scene by scene like I'm not even going specific scenes I like if I think of a specific scene I will write it down but I'm not even like I'm not even going into detail I'm mostly keeping it towards the story which means how the characters react to certain things that are outside of their control um I'm mostly keeping to that, but I have never been so confident that a story is working out or that a story is good based off of the characters. I'm still in the beginning of the scene, but I hate, 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 hate stories that take forever to get to the point. Absolutely hate them. Like a lot of the stories nowadays, especially the ones on Netflix you see that are limited series, they drive me nuts because they take like two episodes to finally get into the meat, you know, and I can't stand that. The good stories are the ones that tell you what it's about and get kicking right away. Like, I don't care if it's a slow story. If there's not a lot of major action or events that are happening, it drives me nuts. Like a, like a story can be slow and still get to the point immediately but like these stories nowadays are like it, it, it's like they'll string you along for 40 50 minutes and then give you a nugget right at the very end that cliffhanger and while I am a big fan of a good cliffhanger don't worry like it's like the entire thing is just this like passive buildup of almost nothing and then it'll give you that nugget and you're like, fine, I'll watch the next episode and then hope and hope and hope that you'll get something good out of it. And you don't. They string you along for another episode and then you get to the end and it's like a little nugget and you're like, fine. And you're wasting like so much time on something that is not, I have not seen a single story that has done that and been worth it at the end. Like, all of them, I've stopped and been like, why did I waste 10 hours of my time on this? There are a few that I have found to be worth it. Haunting of Bly Manor, Haunting of Hill House, um, Midnight Mass. Those are three absolutely excellent ones, but I've, not found, but I've not found any others that I've enjoyed like that. Mini rant over. It makes me excited that, like, all of these things are being set up in a way that like all of this action is happening and it's not necessarily like you know fighting or anything like that not that kind of action it's story action but it's happening and it's in the first quarter of the book and it's setting up so much for the future and I'm not like I've always struggled with the middle 
But at this point, for the first time ever, I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about the middle being weird or the middle being bad. I'm just excited to get to the middle and to get to the end. And it just, it excites me and I'm excited, okay? I'm gonna get back to it because this rant has taken four minutes and it was supposed to only take one. I'm just, I'm excited. I did something that I did not anticipate doing. I actually signed myself up for the Nano website. I've got the project on there. Like, honestly, the plan was not to do that at all. I don't use it very often, but kind of felt like being official about it. So I set up my NaNoWriMo thing and I will basically for like handwriting, having 16, 67 words, I'll just do um, 10 pages. So five pages front and back. And that'll be my metric for having done the, that'll be my metric for having done the actual word count goal for the day. For the day. So if I get 10 pages, I'll just mark 1667. So that's looking like 300 pages total for the month of Nano. So, so that seems like the goal. Ultimately, the goal is just to finish the novel itself but that'll be like the, the number sort of thing that I'm looking for. If you guys want to add me, my link is down below. I like, I, like I said, I don't really use it very often. I have other links down there as well if you wanna check those out, but that's the Nana one. All right, you are getting moderately lazy me at the moment. I have not a care in the world to sit up and be presentable in any sort of way, although my hair is gonna drive me nuts if I don't do something with it. It's getting longer and like nicer-ish, but it definitely needs a trim. But like it's hit a point where it just has stopped growing. I don't really know what to do about it. I don't want to cut it. I want to grow it long. I just don't really know how to get it past the point of where it's at right now. Last night was a long run, rough night. We uh, got a dog. He is adorable. He's the same breed as our last dog, a uh, pit bull terrier. We were very, very sad. Dozer, he about a week before we actually moved into this house, he bolted and we were not able to find him. Um, we had ads on Craigslist, on Facebook, on everywhere. We checked the pound, the shelter and everything and we couldn't find him. So we have all been sort of mourning the loss of that dog for a while now. It's been about a year and a half. That's a lot of drool, dude. He honestly wasn't anticipating actually getting another dog uh, time soon because it is winter time and I feel like winter time is the wrong time to get a new pet, specifically because I don't really want to go out in the middle of winter and establish habits of going to the bathroom out there because that means that I have to be going out there every couple hours to get him to go to the bathroom out there. He's a sweet dog. He's about a year old. We didn't get much sleep. I certainly did not. Um, he is used to having a kennel, of which we did not have yet, and knowing that that's his space, uh, he didn't know where to go last. He was pacing back and forth because he just didn't know where to go. Um, the nice thing is that he is potty trained, so he does know to go outside. Um, it's just he needs to let us know those cues. We we need to learn his cues and he needs to learn to tell us. Because of the pacing, I did not get any sleep and I it is uh, rough and I am not feeling it today. I do, however, have one article to finish. So I'm going to get on that, do the article, and get back to the summary. Hopefully I can have the article done in the next hour and a half or so. And that'll give me about an hour and a half to work on the summary a little bit. I have, I think, pretty much solidified the beginning of the story. And I know what's going to happen in the end. But I don't want to write anything down until I have um, more specifically seen ideas of what's actually going to go on. And I'm hitting the middle point of it. And I am confident in it but it's the part of the story that I've always kind of struggled with so I'm working through it a little bit in my head um and it's it's you know the promise of the premise and so it's got to be action-y and adventure -y and um got to have clues and hints and tips and it's a, sort of a vampire origin story and so there's a lot of information that needs to be layered 
like in the beginning, we've got all of these assumptions, all of this information that the main character has based off of his experience. Like he's the first vampire, technically. Hi, pupper dog. He is technically the first vampire, and so he has all of this knowledge about it, but when when the middle of the story goes along, he learns that it's not actually set up the way that he thought that it was. I need to layer a lot of that into it to see where that gets me. So there's, I've got to do a lot of looking into action adventure um, tropes and things like that. I already have several that I've figured out. Um, like we've got the MacGuffin Ancient Secrets, Larger Than Life Threat, that kind of thing. And I'm going to go event by event by event, figure out how it all works that way. I hope to have this vlog up tomorrow, so I am going to cut it off here for now. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you are all excited and sufficiently prepared for NaNoWriMo. Let me know what your project is in the comments if you are doing it. I do actually have the NaNoWriMo no Rymo thing link in the description as well as a newsletter link in the description as well as Instagram and I think my website as well but I don't officially remember that one it'll be in there I'll put it in there like this is previously me and uh basically giving myself a to-do list I'll put it in there all of those links are there if you want to go check it out other than that if you want to stick around for a little while longer I do post relatively regularly but it's not consistently like I do it every Saturday kind of thing I like to do it on Saturday but it's not always there so if you want to stick around make sure to hit that bell notification so that you can actually be updated every time I post a new video thank you guys so much for watching and being here and until next time keep writing forward mm -hmm.